time on metal detecting and fishing with Romy. Choose your destiny. Round one. Fight. Woohoo! Look at that nice shiny color. I wish I could just stumble upon that right now and go, woo, surface find. But George just tossed that down. What is that, George? Is that a, a find? That's uh, from La Jolla. Uh, two years. Ooh, okay. I was actually there for that hunt, and I remember that. I found that he was uh, about the only one. Yeah. Keep telling your story. You found it with what well, now? I found it with the x cal but I'm sure it was shallow. It was underwater, so I couldn't tell how deep it was. But I have a feeling it was real shallow. So this thing here was probably the best find of the day. I mean, there was a lot of us finding stuff. There was old coins and things being found, but uh, I think George was pretty much the most gung-ho of all of us that day and was out in the water about neck deep <laughs> with his Excalibur and he found that. I think he found, you found some other gold that day too, too uh, didn't you yeah, George? Small signet ring too. Yeah. yeah, so he did pretty good. But we're going to do another test. <clears throat> this thing's, what is this weigh George? Uh, about one ounce. It's uh, 30. Okay, if I can get one, in my dang hand here. 31 grams. 31 grams. Alright, so it's a, it's a pretty good hefty chain. We're going to see what it comes up on the Equinox and we're also Gonna scan over it with the Excalibur and see rolled up or stretched out if this Excalibur can pick this thing up. Now I think me and George ought to be smart and we'll go ahead and put it on these tire tracks that way we know <laughs> in case we lose it on the depth it's in that tire track area. There it is there let's go ahead and just for good measure kick some sand over it like yay. There we go. And he's gearing up here. I'll go ahead and kick on my machine and see what we come up with. Oh, he's ready to go. So here, let's just tune in on him. I'm doing uh, a ground, ground balance. Right now. Doing a ground balance. I've already done noise count. So it sounds like he's done his homework here and last time we used this machine we didn't really do anything but turn it on so So I'm in beach one beach one mode. Alright. There it is, reading one. Solid one. Let's see if you guys can hear this. Solid one. Pretty good audio. And uh, yeah, that is pretty pretty good as far as that sounds there. I'm about three or four inches above the sand here too. Let's show you guys the depth there. He's got it good ways up, and I can still hear it from here from his headphones. Alright, so that's proven to work. Let's see if the X-Cal can pick it up. Let's give it a go. Now I run this thing pretty much threshold kind of loud and uh, sensitivity all the way up, discrimination all the way down. So, there shouldn't be any issue as far as tuning the machine. And I barely get a tone in pinpoint, but it does make a sound. Let's let you guys hear. That is the tone we're getting in discrimination, but there is just a faint tone difference in threshold. So, it picks it up, but if that thing was any further than I'd say an inch under the surface, let's see here. You are not getting it now and uh, discriminate there. Maybe about two. Yeah, I guess we get it at about three, four inches. Just barely. I would I wouldn't think anything of it. Right there scam on the surface I would. But you're gonna have a hell of a time finding gold chains laying an inch under the sand. <laughs> Alright, so that, that that's a that's a proven one. So you wanna bury this? Let's let, let's go for a gold ring. Let's see what the gold ring does. Before we uh, lose this gold chain, let's go ahead and pick that up. Get that out of the sand for him.
<laughs> See, this is what happens when you actually lose your item and you're digging through the sand. <laughs> you want to give it a scan with your machine? See where this chain went? Off to the side here. There it is. <laughs> Woo, almost make you nervous. <laughs> okay. I wasn't nervous. We, we know some guys that can find it. Let's see. Let's put this down a ways. I mean, let's put this ring down a ways. Maybe, uh, maybe five inches or so. Yeah, let's do that. I'll, I'll go ahead and dig a hole here. I'm going to pull out my pin pointer so you guys can get an idea of the depth on this gold ring here. And this is wet sand. This pin pointer does not have a depth on it, but I'd say that's about four inches. That ought to be a good five inches there. All right, let's toss that in there and see what happens. We're gonna place a marker and just kind of put a mount just like that so we know it's right at that point. Still in pinpoint, okay. There we go. I can hear the audible tone. It is a little shaky as far as, well, now it's kind of dead on there. Now it's not moving. Dead on 20. Go back to pinpoint. So it gets better depth it sure does. Much better depth than pinpoint, just like the X-Cal. I kind of like that. Maybe yeah, it should be. Very accurate if you guys can hear that and see that. This is reading 18. As far as where it's at with the pinpoint. Okay, so we got an audible tone. All right, we'll see if the X-Cal can pick it out any better. Yeah, pinpoint, much better depth. Much better depth. All right, let's give the, let's give the X-Cal a go. Final round. We're in pinpoint. Definitely got an audible, noticeable note, tone in pinpoint. Oh yeah. Very, very audible tone. Let you guys hear this. In discriminate here. I would dig that. Very very good tone and pinpoint, so. What about in uh, Discriminate, same thing? Discriminate has a definitely good audible mid-tone. You can definitely tell it's a deep target, but it doesn't sound bad at all. It sounds like a perfectly clear mid-tone, so I would definitely dig that. All right. Cool. All right. Very cool. So, let's do the proven test and get out in the, in the surf in a really, really iron infested, junk infested beach and see what this thing's able to do. Um, seems my machine is picking up his machine, he and mine there. He is able to cut right through and not even uh, be affected by mine. So that, that, that's kind of neat. Let's go ahead and let him see. Let's let's see the recovery on his ring here. Interested in what direction? The uh, target ID. Oh, there we go. It's bouncing around quite a bit. Got it out of the pile. Ooh, don't you love the sound first of that clean? Gold clink? ring with the Equinox. Hey, first gold. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad we planted it, but all right. So that's a, a clear side by side for you guys, um, as far as the Equinox compared to the Excalibur. Um, 
I don't know, pretty even there. Yeah, there's, on there, the gold ring, yeah. There's definitely a good audible tone on the Excalibur, but not uh, on the chain. So, uh, with the ring, it was diggable, indeed. Not, not the chain. Flawless victory. Impressive. Ha, 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 ha.